Thanks for joining me on episode 1,253 of the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. My name is Sean Diemi. I'm a Christian financial advisor. I'm the host of the Dollar Savvy Podcast. And I challenge you to invest in yourself, invest in others, develop your influence, impact the world by using your time, your talents, and your treasures to live out your calling. Find your path to financial freedom. And one way to be inspired to do that is to listen to my friend, Scott Mater, the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. And in that 15 minutes, you can do something small. Just turn off your phone, turn off your computer, and sit with your eyes closed for 15 minutes. Listen to a song that you love. Maybe spend a little bit of time doing something that takes care of yourself. Maybe it's fixing some snacks that you really like or taking some time to have a conversation with a friend that you haven't talked to for a long time. Welcome and thank you for joining us on the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. If you truly desire to become the person who God wants you to be, then you must learn to use your time, your talent, and your treasures for your true calling. In the Inspired Stewardship Podcast, you will learn to invest in yourself, invest in others, and develop your influence so that you can impact the world. In today's episode about impacting the world by stewarding your time, I talk with you about how important self-care is. I also talk about how you can find time for self-care, and I also share how you can provide self-care as a way of actually caring for others As we talk about stewarding your time, wouldn't it be great if you could support this podcast and do it without just taking too long? Turns out you can't. All you have to do is use inspiredstewardship.com slash Amazon when you're ready to make a purchase via Amazon and a small commission will come back to support the show just that quick. If you enjoy the show when you are ready to buy from Amazon, just use inspiredstewardship.com slash Amazon. You hear about how important self-care is all of the time. This idea that we've got to take care of ourselves shows up in lots of different ways. I think we've all heard the analogy of put your own oxygen mask first before you do it for those around you, your children or whatever, on an airplane. We've heard that so much that it almost becomes a joke. It almost becomes something that we all just hear and go, yeah, whatever. But self-care truly is one of the most important things we can do. It actually allows us to have mental and physical health, even when life goes a little crazy, even when there's chaos. And the interesting thing about that is by having some degree of self-care in our own life, it actually allows us to take care of others even better. Self-care isn't selfish It's actually other focused in some ways, at least when not taken to an extreme. Now, obviously, if all you ever do is self-care and you never pay attention to other people and their needs, that that's selfish. That's narcissistic. That's a problem. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about finding some time, even a small amount of time in your normal day to day life where you can take care of yourself. And that's usually the biggest pushback that I get is I want to do some self-care, but I just don't have time for it. I just can't find the time in my day to do that. The truth is, you've got time. You're just using it for other things. It's really not ever about how much time you have. Anytime you say, I don't have time for that, I don't have time for that, instead replace that with, This isn't a priority for me. This isn't something that I find important right now. Because the truth is, it's always about what do you put into your time and what do you say no to. And a lot of times what we end up cutting is the time for ourselves. It's the self-care time. So the first recommendation is simply scheduling it. Put time on your calendar that is dedicated to, to self-care. Put time on your calendar for some self-care time. And it doesn't have to be two hours or even an hour. It could be 15 minutes that you start with or that you use. 
And in that 15 minutes, you could do something small. Just turn off your phone, turn off your computer, and sit with your eyes closed for 15 minutes. Listen to a song that you love. Maybe spend a little bit of time doing something that takes care of yourself. Maybe it's fixing some snacks that you really like or taking some time to have a conversation with a friend that you haven't talked to for a long time. The idea is find a short activity that you can start with. Usually you can find that 15 minutes by cutting out something like maybe scrolling through Facebook for 15 or 20 minutes or watching YouTube for 15 or 20 minutes or simply wake up 15 minutes earlier and use that first 15 minutes to do something that you don't normally do for self-care. Because at the end of the day, what you begin to do is you need to add in more time by saying no to things. You need to find the things that aren't as big of a priority and cut them out. And the overall picture You need to really prioritize things like making sure you're getting enough sleep, making sure you're eating right, cutting down on multitasking and beginning to remove some of the technology distractions that come into our life. And through that, you begin to find time that you can use to take care of yourself. And like I said at the beginning, the reason you want to do this, though, is not just to be selfish, just to focus on yourself, just to take care of everything you need. No, it's also about recognizing that by recharging your batteries, it gets you ready for the day. It makes you more able to deal with other people without frustration. It makes you able to help others and focus on their needs as well. It's really a way of caring for others. That's helpful for a lot of people to recognize that and reframe self-care in that way because we struggle so much around finding the time for self-care because we don't actually view it as something that's important or something that's useful or something that helps those around us. And we'll talk more about that tomorrow. Thanks for listening. Thanks so much for listening to the Inspired Stewardship podcast. As a subscriber and listener, we challenge you to not just sit back and passively listen, but act on what you've heard and find a way to live your calling. If you like this episode on the stewardship of time, be sure to sign up for our stewardship of time tips series by going to inspiredstewardship.com slash time or texting 44222 time tips and that'll get you our best tips on stewarding your time until next time invest your time your talent and your treasures develop your influence and impact the world